You are going to sail around the world. What's the name of your boat? I don't know what to name your ship. I'm scared. Because it's Rhino. Because it's a ship. What? So you want oh. me to ride Rhino around the world? TheSmartLocal.com Welcome to another episode of Ask TSL. We asked you guys to send us some questions and we'll be answering them today. Whee! What does the editorial team do? Okay, so editorial, right? I mean, obviously, we edit, but we also write articles that you see on the TSL site. And then we make sure that those articles are seen by the world. And other than that, we also like do client work, sometimes manage clients, and come up with campaigns that meet their objectives. Why do you choose to get into the editorial team? It was something that I realized I enjoyed since like poly days, where I used to write from the poly newsletter thingy. Yeah. Then it sent me places to interview view celebrities which was what I enjoyed last time. Over the years, I decided to move on to more serious journalism doing like actual proper content lah. What was the interview process like? For me right, I think when I was interviewed, it's actually done by Chris and Kim. So I think that during the interview process, they really asked a lot of like very interesting questions about like which kind of content, uh, what kind of local publishers do you read as well. So you really have to know like your local happenings and also know what's like um, trending and viral. So I think that's very important when you go to the interview. Pros and cons of working in this field? I think you get a lot of opportunities. I can't <coughs> imagine myself doing the things that I've done at this job. Like traveling, even the types of articles that we get to write, the clients that we get to work with. It's very diverse. I actually get to dabble in different kinds of topics. So that's where like you really learn on how to adapt your writing style for different kinds of beats mm -hmm. as well as like different kinds of perspectives or so. I think if you're only relying on passion for writing, you might end up finding it a bit repetitive because if you do it for years on end, every single day you come to work, you just like start writing and writing. So you definitely have to go beyond like, oh, I like to write because it's not the same as like writing a few essays for school. What is your most favourite article written by you? I think my favourite article was a perspective that I wrote about Gen Z slang. So it wasn't really like, oh, I hate Gen Z slang. It was more of like a observation piece. Um, and I really liked writing it. I drew for it as well. With perspectives, you can always write as you are. And a lot of my friends kind of sent the article back to me and was like, oh my god, this is like so funny. It's so true, I don't know what yeet means. So. <laughs> Are you guys attached? Oh, nah. This one, lor. We love love. She's super like marriage goals. Who is the leader of the team? Kimberly. 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 Queen Kim. Can we face her here? Photoshop her here. Let's all rub her belly. What do you look for in an editorial intern? Ooh, creativity. Be prepared to come up with content ideas. Don't just be like, wee, I love writing, like hire me. You have to be very like media savvy and know of the media landscape in Singapore as well as around the world. How old is everyone? 30 this year. I'm 28. I'm turning 26. I'm 31. 31. And Jess she's hot. Twenty-six. Look, okay. she's hot. I'm the baby. <laughs> you ain't the baby. Were there any times where you guys went over a deadline? Yes. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Share your go-to snack while working. Can I expose Kim? Yeah. She used to have, you know, those individual packets of creamer on her desk. Then I'm like, I don't see her drinking coffee. But then middle of the day when she's editing work, she'll just rip and then be like, Yes! And then I'll be like, yeah. what? At first, I wasn't close to her, so I didn't want to say anything. But then when I got close, I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, do you have a problem? <laughs> then she was like, oh my god, you shame me. I don't want to do it anymore. Then she stopped. No, she used to shame herself. <laughs> She's like, you know, today, like, keep drinking the cream and my stomach pain. And I'm like, no oh shit. My god. How long does it take for you guys to produce an article? It really depends on the yeah. complexity mm, of the that's article. True. Honestly, yeah. like anywhere from two hours to like three to four days. First impressions of one another. I don't remember very clearly my first impressions of you guys. <gasps> you hate no, us! No, no. Well, I tell you when I first saw Brian, <laughs> can I just say before Brian, the only male presence in the whole department was Papa So, aka Chris, who is my father figure, so I can't find him sexy. Yet. Huh? But this man, wow. Then I was wondering like how ready he was and she's a bundle of joy. <laughs> Am I a baby? I'm the baby. What was the hardest article you had to produce? Okay, the ones that are challenging are the ones where you have to write about a topic that is very unfamiliar to you. When I was a poly intern, right? 
my second assignment assigned by Papaso was do a guide on BGO. And then this is so embarrassing, <laughs> but I literally do not know what a BGO is. Because I was freaking like, what, 17, 18? Then I was like, okay, Ken. Then I went to Google. BTO. Then every single thing that came out is already like BTO, BTO. They don't tell you what it is about. Then I have to go and WhatsApp my lecturer like, what, what is a BTO? Then she's like, why are you asking? You want to buy? Then I'm like, no, I have to write an article about it. So yeah, that was really like a crash course on what it is. Would you rather have the ability to read or write fast? Or can you write fast and you pass it to someone else to read fast for you? <laughs> then you don't even know what you wrote. <laughs> then then they, they tell you lah. Then you... <laughs> you rewrite fast. This is what I mean by creative thinking, guys. Be like Jessica. <laughs> what were your O level English scores? I got 10 I won. Okay. I think I had A something. It's either one or two, Jess. I don't know, actually, I can't remember. You could just lie and no one. Yeah, yeah no one was gonna check. Jess also got A1. Sure. You could just lie and no one. Yeah. Two Kim, how is life with two kids? She documents uh, it on her IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go follow Go Ellie follow shenanigans. Her. She's always having like, ask me anything. And yes. then she will answer in yes. detail, you know. Uh, it's a freaking hectic every day. That's why it is. Wait, I show you one child. Ellie. Oh, oh, I show you one child. Oh, <laughs> oh, let me call this little monkey. Come here. Can you be a monkey? Hi. Hi, Hi Elle. Okay. What's up? It's a... Uh, a bit stressful because, you know, uh, during the work day, right, on top of doing all the work that I'm supposed to do, I have to care for the children, like feed them, uh, bathe them, clean poopy diapers, stuff like that, yeah. What is your favourite part of the job? Each other. Yeah, actually, I think having a very, like, bonded editorial team really makes working every day a joy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think, like, we can bounce off ideas without like judgement and then see those ideas like come to life on a platform that is seen by many mm -hmm. so I think there's also another very satisfying part of the job like knowing that what you write and what you think about here can really make an impact so that is something that's very satisfying If you can have an unlimited supply of one thing for the rest of your life what is it? I want an unlimited stomach huh? I cannot <laughs> That's like not, like that's not an option Unlimited right? capacity or you want unlimited stomach? <laughs> oh that's so scary! <laughs> you know? You can be like a cow. Cow is like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What was your diploma or degree and is it relevant to what you are doing now? Okay, I was from NUS Communications and New Media. I mean, there's the word media, so it's relevant to what I'm doing now. But that being said, we have a lot of people here that do not necessarily have related degrees. So I just want to put it out there that your degree does not dictate your career. We literally had Hazik, who was mm -hmm. one of our writers back in the day. He was studying maths at uni. Writing is just such a no, universal yeah. skill that you can pick up. If you could swap lives with anyone in the world, who would it be? Can I be Blackpink but without the training? Sura, why do you stop being in videos for a while? <laughs> I managed without a train. Ah! I managed without a train. I was posted to Thailand in mid-2019. KSL expanded regionally. So we set up an office in Thailand. So I was posted there, which is why I was kind of MIA from videos. How long have you been in PSL? I've been here for about four and a half years. Two years and five months. Four years plus. My internship was 2015 September, then my full time was 2018 September. So we stand September. Any ships in the editorial team? Ships? When I was family, it's so that be incestuous. <laughs> The most yeah. of the shippers yeah. shippers. My to the shippin. 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 Uh, happens uh, of us just making fun of Renee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. making fun. We ship, we, you know, support. They are super duper supportive, you know, like they will like have meetings. Okay, mostly I'll go over to their <laughs> seating area. And I'll be like, guys, oh my god, Renee is here. <laughs> then I used to plan my outfits such that he will see me looking sexy or whatever. And then we have this office notice board where it says everyone who is out of office because they are on shoot or on leave. So I'll come here wearing like something, you know, and then I go and see the notice board. It says James Ryder is on leave. Yeah, but I went for what? I remember that day so vividly. I think you wore like some red spaghetti top. Wait a minute. 
Describe success as an editor. For organic side, it's like when we manage to write and publish a viral article. Mm, like definitely. it does super well on social media. You see like big profiles. <laughs> like sometimes like Miss Ho Ching yes. shares her articles. They'll be like, oh my god, Ho Ching shares her article. She's a big fan, it seems. <laughs> Even if let's say the article doesn't get a huge number of reach. Uh, but as long as it like connects with like a, like one reader even mm. or like it helps one person you know like be it a promo code article or like a perspective that really resonates with someone mm. like it doesn't have to be tens of thousands of people it's just like it's just one person that can make you feel that success you are going to sail around the world what's the name of your boat i have one for jess what the boat will be called pretty mess <gasps> <laughs> Are you calling her a pretty man? No! I don't know how to feel about like this. like mess holes and stuff like that. Yeah, right? exactly. Wow. Wow. You're that's, so smart, eh? It has layers. Big brain. I mean, like, Ra said, oh, I, I, I just meant mess. Oh. <laughs> I know how to name your shit. I'm scared. Because it's Reiner. Because it's a shit. What? So you want oh. me to ride Reiner around the world? What is your dream job? This. Yeah, this eh, honestly. This. I don't want to be like too, but honestly, it's this. If you can only choose a dressing style for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay, so we think that Renee is athleisure, swag. Ra is six year old, <laughs> but cool. Rai is Muji catalog with Japanese influence. Uniqlo, Mandarin collar. I'm basic block shop. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Jess always calls herself like, oh my god, my style very like OL. No, okay? Oh, she, I always wish to be you. Yeah. First of all, can we just appreciate the patterns? Sure, Play, sure. We sure, have outfit. some lace, like... Texture. Lace texture, situation going lace on. Lace How do you guys decide on the kind of articles to write? There's a pitching process for like the organic articles. The feasibility test to see whether we think that it will resonate with our audiences. And of course, whether someone has the bandwidth to write the article. What is your go-to lunch order? The chi pan mi at mm. the Gilang Baru Market. Wow, it's so Oof. good. So spicy. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good, it's so, so spicy. spicy. Other than editorial, what's another department you would like to try? I think like video production is something that would definitely be interesting. If you guys were on an island like Survivor, who would you vote off first? I, I can build fire, I was a good guy. Just Bright, we need Bright, we need Bright, we need Bright, because he was a scout. So basically, who are we voting off? Chris. Which is your favorite TSL video that you have appeared on? It was with Amiru, who was with us at TSL uh, like two years ago. There's one video in particular, I think it was like Australian slang. <laughs> it's so funny because like, I think our dynamic, we always like talk home, so. In that video in particular, it was like we had to guess like what the Australian slang words mm. meant and then one word <laughs> was Barbie, which is like barbecue, right? And then freaking Amir was like, Barbie! <laughs> hey, how <laughs> that, ma? Ha, do you want to join me for Barbie? No. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie? <laughs> hey, how that, ma? To Brian, should Shaq marry Renee, Jessica and Ra? Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> shoot any of them. I wouldn't. Shack any of them, but I would definitely marry all three of them. What do you do when you have writer's block? I write on the MRT. <gasps> on the phone, right, you cannot really delete. Because it's very like inconvenient to delete. Oh. So you just like... Da -da 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 -da. Do you put on your shoes as sock shoe sock shoe or sock sock shoe shoe? I read this meme, not a meme, like this tweet where someone said something like, If you wear sock shoe sock shoe you're Satan. Yeah. <laughs> that world. <laughs> One misconception that everyone has about the team. I've heard from other yeah, departments yeah. that they are a bit scared that we'll judge their English. <laughs> no, but we then we don't. won't. Like at most we will try and gently like, oh by the way, do you know it's not pronounced lettuce? But we yeah. will not judge you and be like, ah stupid. Like, even, in our, you. even in our daily life, our grammar, like the way we talk is not fantastic. Yeah. Mm. If you had a time machine, would you go back in time or into the future? Okay, um, yeah. I feel like going back in the past is a bad idea because butterfly effect, one small, the smallest mm. tweak can change your entire life. Who is your office crush? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
I mean, take it away, girl. I'm shy to say that. She's name. she's very voracious in doing this stuff. Why don't you say their name but change the first letter? Games. Games. <laughs> games. <laughs> games. Start with brain. Games. 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 Brain. Games. Brain. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a Don't good, even. No. That's a good card game. Yeah, games brainer. Share a significant incident that happened in the team. We've had the chance to experience mm. each other's milestone. We've been through each like people's wedding. Yeah, isn't that significant? Like Kim got married just recently. Not very recently, <laughs> but the most recent. Sweet or savory? Savory. Who is the most serious person in the team? Like a few years ago, when Tiesa was much smaller. Kim had the reputation for being very strict. Like, a lot of people are afraid of Kim, but she's she's a freaking clown. To illustrate how much of a clown she is, one time I was very, very scared to send her an article because it was a very tough assignment. And I was like, hi Kim, to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous to let you read through. Then she was like, no, no, I'm sure it'll be so great. I want to tattoo it on my ass. <laughs> so yes. Kindest person in the office. I say Chris because like he used to show his kindness in very subtle ways. The one incident that stood out to me was one day I was actually late for work because I saw a moth. <laughs> and then I like had a panic attack and it was a whole thing. And then I was like half an hour late for work already and I was still at home. I had to like obviously tell him I was gonna be late for work, right? When I was like Oh my god, should I lie and say that oh the bus broke down or whatever? But I was like, okay, no, I'm gonna be honest. So I was like, please, I had a panic attack because I saw a butterfly. Then I was so ready for him to be like, yo, just like hurry up. Okay, not like that lah, but like I didn't think he would respond the way he did, which was like, it's okay, life happens. <laughs> and I was like, ah. Was there a time that you regret choosing and publishing an article over another? No regrets, no. One thing you would like to do as a team. We want to be in a villa in Bali. Yes. Mm, yes. Together. Then we can splash. Splash, <laughs> splash. Who are you closest to in PSL? <coughs> Aww. So many. Joyce. Amanda and her big juicy booty. <laughs> Our Mr. Gerosia. Gerosia is the like, piano. We freaking love and stand Gerosia. <laughs> can you please call on photo of Gerosia? Yes. Gerosia. Gerosia. Is it yeah. him holding the mug? What is one country you would like to visit once the travel bans are lifted? Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Mine is not even a celebrity, it's just like a TikToker. And there's this guy called like Newt Puppy. His name is Newton. He's like this super handsome, like I think Vietnamese American guy. And he's like buff. When I was going through my heartbreak, right, I was very sad. But then when I watch his TikTok, I don't just watch and like the TikTok, I will screenshot. What fictional world or place would you like to visit? Good place. I want to visit Game of Thrones, but without all the killings and interests. Just you have to embrace everything. Stuff. You can't be like, yeah. I want to be Blackpink, but not have the training. Why can't be Blackpink, but without the training? Welcome to the real world! It sucks! One thing you would like to tell aspiring writers or editors? You know how Dory is like, just keep swimming. I would say just keep writing. Like even if you think it's bad, or even if other people look at your work and say, oh, I don't think you can make it. Just like, Mm. Just keep doing it. You can only get better. You cannot get worse from practicing. And I think don't treat your work as precious. I mean, it sounds mm -hmm. a bit bad, but sometimes, like when you are a writer, you put a lot of soul into it. So when someone criticizes your work or gives you feedback, you're like, mm. yeah, my soul is injured and everything. So you kind of shut down from the feedback. But I think it's very important to not have an ego about it and try to listen. Mm. So I think as a writer, that ability to truly listen is very, very important. If you guys are interested in joining the best team ever, we're hiring for July in date. So if you like writing, Reading, looking at Renee, oh. being her teammate, being <laughs> our teammate. There's more information in the description box below. And if you're interested in applying, there's the email address to send in your resume as well. Thank you for watching another episode of Ask TSL. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. And watch our other videos down below. Not below! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>